my stick. And today I want to talk to you about this. This was waiting on the door for me when I got home just a while ago. Uh, some of you may know what it, what it is just by looking at the box. Um, some of you may not. Um, so for those of you that don't, hold on just a second. I don't know if you can see what that says. But just in case you can't, it says Six Moon Designs. Maybe that gives you a little hint what's inside. Okay. Well, if you still don't know what it is, I guess I'll do the obvious thing and just go ahead and open it. Now, I will say that this was supposed to have been here yesterday, but the mail service ended up sending it to Arkansas rather than here, so uh, I had to wait an extra day. Get everything out there. Okay. Let's see here. Now you know what it is. The Skyscape Trekker. And I got the optional porch to go along with it. So now what I want to do is I want to measure this stuff or, or weigh this stuff. So uh, give me just a second. Let me readjust the camera. Pull it out of the bag here. Looks like it comes in the stuff sack. That's the actual tent. Um, looks like this is the strut that goes up in the top of the tent. That's where the tip of your trekking poles go. It's right in there. And like I say, that's the porch. I'll take that out a little bit. Of course, it came with the little book here. It says 24 ounces. Uh, I did not choose to have it seam sealed, so I will have to go ahead and seam seal it myself. But anyway, let's see if I can get this okay i don't know how well you can see that um let's see change that to ounces okay first i'm gonna weigh just a little strut and it's showing up at 0.7 ounces go ahead and put the 10 on here and the 10 is coming in at can't really see that it's one pound, 7.6 ounces, or 23.6 ounces. So when I add that, plus the strut, comes out to 24.3 ounces. I've got some, uh, these are some of the uh, Lawson Klein's uh, Shepherd Hook Titanium Stakes. I'm gonna go use those. And now I've got my trekking poles. I've already got them measured out at 45 inches, I believe, is. Um, what it says it's the instructions there and yep and if you'll see it to the right of your screen in bold it says 45 inches so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna take this stuff outside and I'm gonna set it up and uh, I'll film it while I'm setting it up this will be the first time I've ever set it up like I say it's the first time I've even put my hands on it I haven't even actually taken another stuff sack yet so I'm fixing to show you all that hang on a second okay if you can see I've got the tent the strut and my two trekking poles. I've already preset them at 45 inches. I've got the porch here, but I'm going to go ahead and set it up and give you a little walk around before I put the porch on. And then I've got my stakes in my back pocket. And I've got my exped mat blown up sitting inside so the cat don't decide to get on it and put her pretty little claws into it. So, uh, like I say, it's the first time I set it up. So if you see me running back and forth, um, that's why. But anyway, here we go. Now this is the Trekker version. Uh, it's made out of steel nylon. They do have two other models of these. They have the Scout, which is made out of a polyester, and it's estimated to weigh about 10 ounces more at 34 ounces. And there's also the uh, Cuban fiber version, which is not actually being made just yet. Um, but those actually weigh approximately eight ounces less at 16 ounces. I opted to go for the Trekker because uh, it was an awesome price. It was $175 at the time. Now you uh, now you pay, I think, $225 is what they cost. Uh, but $175 uh, for a 24-ounce uh, hybrid double wall shelter. And what that means by hybrid is it's 80% uh, of the canopy, or 80% of the mesh is actually beneath the canopy, and it forms a second wall. Okay, there it is. You walk around. Looks like one of my poles is lower than the other. Maybe it's sitting in the 
Maybe it's sitting in a hole in there. I don't know. I'll fix that in a minute. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. Okay, so I'm gonna make some adjustments on the uh, the poles there. I'm gonna get my pad and throw it in there. Be right back. I adjust it. You can see that's a little more level up there. I adjusted the pole and uh, thing is is I didn't have it in this little sleeve all the way is why I was doing that um, so I gotta be careful when I'm putting them in those sleeves make sure I get them in those sleeves right you can see the little bugs in here already it's humid as far I see some sunlight coming through there so I'll definitely have to make sure I seam seal this thing but anyway I don't know what you're probably really concerned about. I'm sweaty. This is my Exped Simmat 7, uh, 20 by 72, 20, 20 inches wide, 72 inches long. You can see how much room is up at the head. Show you how much room is all along there. And that's how much is at the foot. So, I've already saw one person has already posted a picture of a 25 inch large uh, Neo Air. So, uh, obviously, they will fit. Um, and I assume the way it would be is you would have to push the sleeping pad at the bottom all the way in so that it could fit up at the top. Anyway, as you can see, I've got my other porch over there. I've got it opened up, so you definitely can see all the way through, which is a big plus about this tent. Um, now, if you'll notice, every bit of this is double wall on both sides, all the way to right there. It's double wall. But the thing is, is that sits right on top of it. So I'm not sure how well that will work because the mesh is right on top, right up against the uh, the tent. This area here, I don't know how well you can see that, but this area here is the only part that's actual single wall. What's nice about this part up here being double wall is this is where your head will be. So maybe the condensation um, won't be able to drip on you at night like it would if it was over here just above the single wall part um, but you can see you've got a floor all the way around it nice thing is is you can uh, adjust the trekking poles if the tent starts to sag you can adjust the trekking poles uh, to take out some of the tension and uh, other than that I mean it, it seems like the tent functions the same way as the other uh, six moon design tents so this is the side um, that you obviously can enter. It's just the mesh there. And now I've got that pulled up. Now this thing requires five stakes. Two at the foot end, one at the head end, and then one on each side to guide the fly out. And I adjusted that pole again. I moved the bottom out, so that's why it's funny looking again. But anyway, so five stakes at minimum to pitch this tent. Now, you can see that little spot right there. That's an extra pit or extra tie out. You can uh, attach another one there if you'd like and have even more. Now, I'm not sure if this thing has got buckles on it. It's actually a little buckle. I'm not sure what that buckles. Maybe it's got something to do with the porch. I'm not sure. I'll check that out in just a minute. Um, of course, they use these ribbons on the tie outs. Uh, not ribbon, but uh, like some gross gain or something like that is what they use. And then they use these little buckles here that you can tighten or loosen. They use that on each one. So anyway, um, I'm going to put this thing down and uh, I'm going to start getting the porch out 
and I'll see about putting the porch up on. Okay, like I said, I got the porch to go with it. This is how the porch comes. The only thing that uh, it looks like is inside the bag is the porch and some maybe some uh, ropes to guy out, maybe. Um, it doesn't look like there's any instructions or anything with it. It just has a caution. It says if uh, that this is designed to be used for sun and rain protection in mild weather, but in case of high winds, heavy rains, and snow, to remove the porch and secure the uh, skyscape. Um, so, so here I go. Again, like I say, this is the first time I set it up. This doesn't come with any instructions. So uh, if you see me running around in circles and scratching my head, that's why. Here we go. As you can see, that didn't work out too well. Um, I did find out for one thing. Well, let's see here. I can tighten that up a little bit. This buckle over here is for the porch. And that's kind of... I'm not sure. You can see I've got... You probably can't tell, but it just came with one line. And I can see that it clips these two together here. And I just ran my trekking pole through it. I ran it down, ran it across the ground, and then it comes back up right here to my other trekking pole. Now that's not very taunt, so I don't know if there's something I'm just not doing wrong. Probably what I would do is, uh, I'm not sure the exact use for this wire or this cord here. Um, so I'll have to do a little bit of reading up on it to see how well it works or exactly how it's supposed to be used and what I may end up doing is I just got some awesome um, guy wire from Lawson Klein um, if I can't figure it out or if I'm just not sure about it I may rig up something and just have two separate tie outs I think it would uh, get it pitched a little more taunt that way okay I'll just kind of show you how much room there is up underneath it all right I don't know how well you can see that but the end of it's right here which is about eight inches away from my face it's really bothering me i want to make it taunt anyway but it does provide more room more coverage i i can see why i wouldn't want to use it in a storm um at least not if i can't get it any better than that but anyway um i'm chad from sticks blog i just wanted to share with you real quick my first look at the uh skyscape trekker that's by six moon designs um i appreciate you for watching and i know this has been kind of rudimentary um it's just kind of thrown together uh, but like i say you you just you just opened the box with me so uh everything i've done i've done for the exact first time so i appreciate you for watching if you have any questions you can always post them on my blog and i'll do my best to get back to you uh answer any questions that you might have as well, if I can't answer those questions, I'm sure if you get in touch with Ron or Brandon from Six Moon Designs, they'd be more than happy to help you uh, with any of your questions. Um, first impressions, I'm really excited about it. I like it. Uh, I, I know I got to, uh, I've got to uh, seam seal it, so that's going to be an experience. And I may do a little video on me seam sealing it. I'm not going to do it anytime today. I don't believe I'll do it anytime this weekend. So it might be a couple of days or a week or two before I get a chance to seam seal it. Um, but anyway, I appreciate you for watching my uh, first look at the Skyscape Trekker. And uh, until later, have a good one.